Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a cool rundown of brand new Blender add-ons that you probably missed. And this week we do have a good number of Blender add-ons that will probably make your life a little bit easier. And with that said, let's get right into it. Evermotion Vegetation Pack for Botanic Volume 2 is now here. This comes with 54 high quality 3D models of Evermotion trees and they're highly compatible with the Botanic add-on. This ships with a couple of features which includes the spawning of assets, scattering asset, linking and editing this asset, randomization variant, animation and so much more. And for sure, if you're into vegetations and you're looking for where you can get even more vegetations that you can add to your scene, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Evermotion Pack Volume 2 and get started with it. Right now, they're doing a 30% limited time offer with a coupon code Stranger Trees for anyone who would like to grab this and save up on that box. So, if you own a free or a paid copy of Botanic and you're looking for more vegetations that you can use, then this is an ideal pack that you might want to consider taking a look at. The folks at CG Cookie have just released a brand new Blender tutorial which deals with an epic environment creation in Blender. And Astray is a Blender course that leads you step by step through the creation of a spooky fantasy scene. What you learn includes how you can translate 2D art into 3D environment, make your own library of nature assets, build a hut which you can simply customize, knowing how to make your scene shine with the best set of lighting, and also how you can work with cameras to present your epic final scene. These 6 chapters of tutorials will guide you from start to finish of how you can create an epic environment in Blender and if you're into learning and you like to learn more then this tutorial is definitely one which you might want to consider looking at. And if you've always thought about how you can create soil surfaces for 3D printing or probably you just want to create soil surfaces for your games, then the quick field add-on is the right one for you. With the quick field add-on all you need to do is select the surface and click a single button and automatically this add-on takes a look at the surface and creates a soil surface. This can save you so much time as this is also procedurally generated which can help you create multiple set of miniatures. So if you're looking at creating molds, critters, gardens for plants, miniatures, or probably you like to play with a couple of parameters then you have all of this at your fingertips. And if you're into sculpting, then VK Games have created a brand new surface add-on for Blender which is a 1200 plus displacement texture bundle. This 1200 plus actually cuts across 24 different categories of displacement textures which you might be needing if you're into sculpting or probably you would like to apply these things to a model and just simply use those textures to drive the model. So from rock stones to broken glass, some alphas, some skeleton, ornament, fore and hair, bricks, metals, and so much more, the surface add-on for Blender just simply makes this work. At the same time, there is also a couple of free textures that you can get just in case you like to try this before you commit to purchase. The folks at GTEC Design have just released the Energy FX add-on and the X FX add-on bundle. The bundle actually deals with 5 add-ons that have been put together and sold as one, which you can actually save up by purchasing the X FX bundle rather than purchasing these add-ons individually. At the same time, they've also released the Energy FX add-on which comes with a couple of cool effects. These effects are pretty easy to use as they are very customizable and they come with 13 different energy presets that you can throw in. And some of the effects which you'll be getting with this includes the lightsaber effect, electricity, shockwave buffs, and glowing lines. The Aurora has been promised to be coming in later installments, but currently what you get is 13 energy presets which you can tweak and play with within your scene. So if you're thinking about getting the current 40%, which is going right now, there's gonna be a link in the description where you can use the coupon code which is also going to be in the description to get this for an extended period of time. The robot cable arm from Ben19 is a beautiful geometry node setup that allows you to simply take advantage of any edge outline that exists in Blender to generate cables around it. So how this one works is super interesting as all you need are edge flows which this object actually looks at and automatically it starts generating these cables across it. So if you're looking at creating things that are very procedural like this, more like what you can get with the Mimic tool, then the robot cable arm is just what you need. If you also go over to Ben19's page, you would also see that he has lots of other things right here. So if you find any of these things very useful, then you might want to consider checking out his storefront and seeing what you can grab for yourself. The Easy Fire add-on is a free blender add-on that allows you to easily create fires procedurally. This has a couple of settings that just simply makes your creation of fires super easy 
and at the same time it comes with some very good set of animation. So if you're looking for some of these amazing assets that you can use to create stylized fires in your scene, then you might want to take a look at what Sofane has to offer. All of these are totally free, so in case you're thinking about grabbing them, yes you can. And in certain cases, when working with different tools for scattering, you might want to switch some of these, from particles to geometry nodes, scatter, and also the G scatter. And this is what the P-Switcher is available for. The P-Switcher made available by the creators of HDR Maps has now made this super easy, especially if you're into architectural visualization or creating a realistic environment. With this simple to use tool, you can simply hide various systems and reveal some of them depending on what performance that you're trying to get at a certain time. This is definitely going to be very useful for those who have large scenes and you're thinking about how you can manage these assets and get certain things visible and some of them invisible at a given time. Then the P-Switcher from Greg, creator of the HDR maps, is definitely something that is available for you. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at all of these add-ons that we've just talked about, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.